If you're having a hard time creating content, maybe you have some limiting thoughts like, I'm not a writer, who am I to do this? I'm not a video blogger, who am I to make videos? Here's my encouragement to you. Make your content for one person at a time. So think about one of your clients. Um, maybe you said something to him or her that was really helpful for them to get through some kind of block or uh, help them transition in some part of their life. Well, why don't you record the video again for them or write, write it out again for them so that they can review what you said again, okay? And then share that piece that you've sent to them more anonymously on your own social media to help other people who might be like your client going through the same thing. Some of my most popular posts and articles and videos have been when I have spoken directly to one of my clients or to an audience member who asked me a question. Really, those have been some of my most popular ones. And I can predict pretty well that when I am answering a question for somebody, that piece of content will do pretty well rather than just kind of talking off the top of my head or answering a question that I feel like answering. Does that make sense? So speak to one client at a time in your content or an audience member at a time, an ideal reader, ideal viewer, and then just share that on social media. And then that way you're not just feeling like you have to fill the shoes of being a writer or a video blogger or whatever, right? But you're just helping one person at a time and you happen to share that piece so that it might help others too. But even if it just helps that one person, you post it on Facebook or YouTube or put it on your blog and then, and then send it to that one person and say, hey, I wrote this as I thought about the question you asked me or I thought about our session together or I thought about you, I just wrote this and I, I, let me know if it's helpful or if you have any additional questions. Make sense? And then others, if others happen to like it and share it forward and comment on it, then look at it as a bonus. This reminds me of um, some public, tr public speaking training. I didn't really get public speaking training, but I did go to a lecture or two about public speaking and I read a book about it. And the, the best piece of advice I got was when you're doing public speaking, instead of making your eyes kind of glazed over among the audience just like this, it's much better to look at one audience member at a time for like 15 seconds and just connect with that audience member, talking to them, okay, even though you're going through your whatever you wanna say, speak as if you're speaking to that just one, that one audience member. And then after 10, 15 seconds, look away and look at one more audience member and then just continue talking as if you were just talking just to them. So same thing with your content. Each piece of content you create, just do it as if you were talking to one person, even though others might benefit from it. I hope this is helpful.